Good morning. And welcome back to Pitts Valley High School. If you are listening to this message, that means you have chosen to come back in a traditional manner, and we welcome you. We're so glad to have you back. And now that you are back, we have to cover some guidelines and some protocols that are going to be critically important that you adhere to if we want to continue to learn uh, and socialize in a traditional manner here at Pinson Valley High School. Uh, certainly, if you looked this morning, once you arrived to school, you saw that we have arrows uh, that are pointing in one direction and other arrows that are pointing in another direction. Uh, we have stairwells that are permitted to one way up and one way down. And certainly, we want to make sure that we are protecting you and our teachers' safety as we think about how we are going to move throughout the day, from the morning when you get here and arrive to school, uh, certainly from first block to second block, second to third, et cetera. Uh, also how uh, we deliver lunch, and then also how we dismiss at the end of the school day. All of this is intentional and purposeful as we want to, again, ensure everyone's safety. Speaking of safety, there are going to be additional protocols, just like when you go into certain grocery stores or you go into certain shopping uh, centers that you have to wear a mask. Uh, the same thing holds true here. As soon as you get out of your uh, parents' uh, cars, or if you get out of your own car or a friend's car who you rode to school with, or if you get off the bus, uh, certainly you will have to maintain and keep a mask on uh, during the time that you're here at school. And for some, it may be uncomfortable, and I'm sorry, uh, but the reality is these are the rules and the protocols that, in fact, uh, you are going to be asked to follow. Uh, we do have these gators that have the PV design that you are able to pull up, and so certainly that will be an opportunity. We also have other masks that you we're going to give you that you can put, uh, of course, behind uh, your, both ears, like I'm sure most of you already have. Uh, so there's really no excuse whatsoever to not to have a mask. We are going to have masks available, and certainly we want you to make sure that you are wearing these masks. Now, of course, uh, when you eat, common sense says you're not going to have a mask on. Uh, and certainly, again, when you're maybe out in PE and you're, and you're running or something along those lines, then, of course, you may not have masks on there as well. Uh, but in a classroom setting and through the hallways, et cetera, and, and arriving and leaving school, we are asking that you keep your mask on and at time. So with that being stated, there are three things that I'm going to ask you to do here at Pinson Valley High School. And many of you upperclassmen have heard me say this when we come back to school and we have our class meetings. First thing to do is come to school on time every single day and making sure that you're working as hard as you possibly can in an effort to be successful. So again, coming to school on time every single day. And then number two, when you're in your classes, working as hard as you possibly can to be successful. The third is being able to control your behavior. Let me repeat that. Being able to control your own behavior because you're responsible for you. You're not responsible for anybody else's behavior. You're responsible for your own behavior. So if you can come to school on time every single day and work as hard as you possibly can in those classes and control your own behavior, you will be fine at Pinson Valley High School. But if you cannot control your own behavior, then unfortunately, teachers and administrators will have to intervene and help you to figure that piece out. The reality is we still have the Jefferson County Student Code of Conduct, and we're asking that you adhere to that code of conduct. Our teachers are going to be covering the code of conduct with you on the first couple of days. And so, therefore, there, there shouldn't be any gray areas or there shouldn't be any questions after they finish uh, with having those conversations. Dress code is still dress code. You are still being asked to, uh, again, not only with the mask, but making sure that you have appropriate clothing, uh, clo uh, appropriate attire. Young men, I'm not going to be having to ask you to pull up your pants. That's uh, quite embarrassing. When I have to look at a young man's underwear, that's not what I want. That's not what our ladies want. And that's certainly not what our teachers want. So that being said, pull up your pants. Young ladies, cover up. Uh, the reality is that, yes, it's still uh, going to be some warm days, but that doesn't mean that you do not come to school fully clothed. Uh, and, 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 and there's really no excuse. If you have a problem where you don't have the proper attire, 
and we can try to help you out with that. But the expectation is that you come dressed uh, in a proper way uh, that certainly reflects uh, what we expect here at Pinson Valley High School. Also parking, we are asking if you do in fact drive on our campus that you have purchased a parking pass. If you have not, you need to do so uh, today, certainly by this week. Uh, because if not, then you will be, in fact, fined. And more importantly, it will be a disposition from a disciplinary standpoint. So I don't even want to go down that road, so to speak. Make sure that if you are driving on our campus that you have a parking pass. And then more importantly, if you are an athlete, that we're asking that you park behind the visitor stadium. And we've already uh, you know, discussed this with the coaches, that if you are an athlete, that you are parking on the other side. And then, of course, if you are a just a traditional student and your day is over with, we ask that you leave because the band has to practice in the parking lot closer to Tapawingo. And so certainly it's not time to socialize, get in your car and leave uh, because Mr. Brandenburg and Miss Green need to be able to have the band out there warming up and getting ready, uh, certainly uh, for their practice as well. Uh, that being stated, if you have any, any questions whatsoever, uh, for our administrative team or also teachers, uh, do not hesitate. We're here. We're here to help you. We are going to help you. Uh, Miss Lori Aiken is the 11th and 12th grade counselor. Dr. Emmanuel Foster is the 9th and 10th grade counselor. They're both here to help you. They will help you. Uh, if you have any questions regarding scheduling, if you have any questions regarding any social emotional issue that you may uh, be working through, uh, that our counselors are here to help you to work through those uh, certain issues uh, that you may have. Also, when we're thinking about, you know, this ideal of vaping, I know that that was something, unfortunately, that we caught a lot on last year. And I can promise you right now, it's still a class three. So if you are caught in possession of a vape, and I don't care what you have in that vape, uh, at the end of the day, it is a class three violation and therefore, uh, you go home, and then, of course, when uh, the uh, counseling center opens, then you will be going to the counseling center to serve whatever days uh, that you have been assigned. Uh, so the reality is that uh, this is not uh, something that you want to indulge in. Uh, obviously, tobacco as well, or any uh, illegal, uh, certainly substance uh, that uh, you may decide that you want to take a risk. Uh, I can promise you this is not the time, this is not the place, and do not bring that stuff to this school. And I pray that you're not indulging uh, in it anywhere else for that matter. But the reality is we want to continue again uh, to create a successful environment for you here, a safe environment and a welcoming environment for each and every one of you. So again, if there's anything that we can do to help you, that's what we're here to do. And we're going to help you through this process. Again, we're going through a tough pandemic. We got a lot of things that is happening in this country but the reality is if we pull together and we do the things that we need to do in an effort uh, to help one another and uh, support one another, then we're gonna make this through, uh, or should I say, we're gonna make uh, through this uh, process together. Uh, and, and, and together, as we said, uh, that uh, Pinson Valley Strong is who we are and uh, we promote achievement, respect and success every single day of what we do. It's not what we say, it's what we do. And so that being stated, Continue, again, to acclimate to our new environment. But the reality is you, along with us, we're going to make this a great 2020-21 year.